Hello guys, this is Second and Genuine, and today's tutorial is to show you how to remove FRP from any Android devices, including Samsung. So first off, what you're going to need to do is, is to download the following files. So it's SightSync and TG underscore FRP. The link is going to be in the description below, just in case. So once you have downloaded these uh, files, what you have to do is, is first install SightSync into your uh, to your Windows, press yes, next, accept, next, next, then wait for a couple of seconds, and then what you're gonna need to do is, is to press finish. Now on your phone, what you gotta do is, is first make sure that it is on this screen and then connect your phone to the computer on your computer what you got to do is, is to open the phone storage and then drag the downloaded file right into your phone's directory Okay, now what you have to do is, you should see this screen. Once you have, uh, once you have dragged the uh, TG underscore FRP on your device. So first off, you have to hit on the search engine, I mean the search button, then type ES file explorer. Then you have to install this file. Then what you need to do is you have to press TG underscore FRP settings unknown sources. Okay, press install, press open, and you should see your phone setting. What you have to do now is to scroll down until you see lock screen and security and then go to the device security press agree Nox active enable that now press restart On your computer, you have to close SightSync, right click, quit SightSync, and what you have to do now is to remove the cable and then reconnect it. Then what you gotta do is, is to relaunch the app, then you should see a pop-up screen here. If not, then press on Google Apps, then sign into your Google Play account. I mean your Google Samsung apps can or yeah then what you got to do is, is to press search engine then go to ES file explorer again then launch the app now relaunch well actually install this app again do the same process open it up then scroll down well you don't have to just find lock and lock screen and security scroll down unknown sources press ok no, that's good other security settings scroll down device administration make sure that this one is ticked off go back scroll down well nothing here now Find my phone. Now you, what you have to do is, is to input your password for Samsung account. So give me a moment here. Then what you got to do is, is to enable both of these options. Yeah, remote controls and location have to be enabled. 
the final step is now to go back, find backup and reset, then press factory data reset, and you should see your Samsung account which you have signed in when you downloaded ES File Explorer. Once you confirm that, if it's clear, then press reset device, erase everything. Now that should fix the problem. Now what you have to do is, is to remove the USB cable and then simply press next so while configuring your appropriate settings. I'll input my internet password for a moment. Give me a sec. Okay, now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Now you press next and then uncheck this. It's not necessary. Because usually what happens is this diagnostic, diagnostic data runs on background. So for example, if one of your apps gets a crash or some sort of an error or bugs, they send it to Samsung without your consent. So that's going to be a privacy issue as well as bad read consumption. Anyways, press agree. Now what you have to do is, is to type, or you can skip, but I prefer you to put your email account. So mine is, give me a moment, so mine is Gmail account, so Samsung, G, yeah, not, not Gmail guys, not Gmail, Samsung. Once you have input it, your Samsung. This is your Samsung account, not Gmail. So if you have a Gmail account, what you gotta do is, is to press create with Google like ID in order to create a Samsung account. Or you can create account with another emails like Hotmail for example. But I'm not using this, so I'm just gonna skip it. Here we go guys. That is fully unlocked. And I hope it fixed your phone. If this didn't help, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. See you guys later and I hope this fixed your problem. Bye. No! No! That's the end of the video? No! You better like and subscribe for more. Or I come and hunt you down and I do a crazy stuff on you.